Katie Price said she's sorry for her actions in a new statement after she swerved jail. Yesterday, the former Glamour model walked away from court with a suspended sentence and 100 hours of unpaid work after admitting she had driven her car after binging on vodka and cocaine. The judge made it clear she had wanted to send the mom of five to prison as she deserved to spend Christmas behind bars, but that her hands were tied and she wasn't able to. She wrote on her Instagram story this morning, I would like to thank my family, my children, my mom, dad, sister, brother, my partner Carl, Lee, and my friends who have supported me throughout these past few months. It's been a really difficult time and I'm incredibly sorry for my actions, I'm sincerely grateful nobody was hurt, I realize that damage my actions could have caused not only to another family, but to my own as well. I'm now spending time getting better, mental health is a hidden illness and can strike at any time. The triggers that cause my anxiety and behavior are something I'm trying to understand, come to terms with, and I learn to control moving forward. This will be a long process for myself and something I'll continue to work on for the rest of my life. It's also something I can work on with my family so we can progress on a new chapter together. Thank you for all the messages of goodwill that I've received. I'm going to surround myself with my loving family and friends and continue doing the work I love as it brings me enjoyment and helps my mental health. Thank you everyone. Katie's chaotic life was laid bare in embarrassing detail in court as her defense solicitor did all he could to help her avoid jail time. Painting a picture of a lonely woman so desperate for company at 5 a.m. in the morning she got behind the wheel drunk and high on cocaine, Katie's own solicitor embarrassingly told the court she doesn't deal with problems. The 43-year-old had been downing vodka and lemonades alone before feeling lonely and deciding to see a pal the night she committed her sixth driving offense. A passerby later found her slumped in the passenger seat of her overturned BMW. In her defense, Solicitor Joe Harrington yesterday told the court that Katie has an awful lot going on at the moment. People will be glad to see that Katie has properly addressed yesterday's events now. Last night, she left people fuming by appearing to carry on as normal after arriving home from court. She posted a YouTube video that showed her making a carrot cake with Harvey and also shared a throwback picture of Sun Jr. on her Instagram feed. The posts left many less than impressed, and they took to the comments section to tell her exactly how they felt, 